For the first time, neurologists can see Alzheimer's disease. Advanced Radiology in Ellicott City, Maryland is one of the first centers in the country to offer PET scanning with Florbetapir, a new imaging agent that helps bring clarity to the diagnostic process. It, it, this gives us a different sort of piece of the puzzle for clinicians to decide how to differentiate their patients in terms of what type of cognitive impairment they may have. Florbetapir is among a new class of short-lived radioisotopes that bind to the amyloid plaques in the brain. Scanning is quick and relatively easy. Patients who have had a PET or MRI before will experience a similar procedure with Florbetapir. During the scan, computer-generated images show the distribution and concentration of plaque. Results are available immediately. A specially trained radiologist reads and interprets the images. This is an example of uh, a number of uh, Amavit scans in patients that are presenting with predominantly very similar symptoms. Both have a degree of cognitive impairment, both have many mental scores that are abnormal, and the patients are sent for further evaluation. We could see that we have Amavid deposition in white matter, but we have sparing on the outside where the gray matter is. If we look and contrast that with the patient that we have on the right-hand side, first of all, on the CT slice, you can see that there's certainly a greater degree of atrophy here. We have prominent sulci, we have mild dilatation of the, um, of the ventricles that you can see here. And when we look at the deposition of Amavid here, we can see that it extends out to the periphery. We lose that differentiation that we had in the other scan between the white and the gray matter. And again, when we overlap one versus the other, you can see that the gyri have uptake of Amavid that go all the way between the gray matter, excuse me, from the white matter directly into the gray matter. So a positive test taken together with other signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's disease can be very, very helpful. On the other side, a negative scan is very, very important because it is exceedingly unlikely that a patient that does not have significant or sparse plaque in their brain at the time that the scan is being performed has Alzheimer's disease. The radiologist will forward the results to the patient's neurologist who then discusses them with the patient. Positive scan concurs with the diagnosis and um, you know consistent follow-up and good medical care will be provided. But a negative scan will be so valuable. You know, you can relax the patient and the family and say, listen, your dementia, I have good news. This is not Alzheimer's dementia. This is a different type of dementia and this is what we can do to slow the progression. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an extremely valuable tool. Because in the past, it was post-mortem diagnosis, right. definite. But now, I mean, it's amazing to have this uh, diagnostic tool. The scan costs about $3,000 and isn't covered by private or public insurance. But the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is accepting public comments on a proposal to cover Fleur Beta Peer.